Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we will cover top interview question and answers on Angular testing. If you have any questions or doubts, please drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Let's get started with top interview question and answers on Angular testing. So the first question is, what is Angular unit testing? How, what, why do you need it? Tell me about your experience with Angular testing. So this is what the question starts with on testing. So you can always mention, so Angular testing is a type of software testing where we test individual components in the Angular application. In Angular unit testing, it's performed using Jasmine and Karma frameworks. So Jasmine is a testing test framework used for writing the tests and Karma is the use used to run the tests. We can also use testbed async to make testing asynchronous for testing components, directives, and services easier. So the, the next question that follows usually is, what is Karma and what is Jasmine framework? So Karma is a tool for running tests on your browser. It lets us span, span browsers and Jasmine test run inside them. So remember, Karma is a test runner. Basically, it runs our tests. And Jasmine is the framework which is used for writing behavioral driven development software tests. So we write test specs in Jasmine and we use Karma framework to run those tests. How to install Karma using NPM? So after installing Node.js, we can always run the command npm install karma hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev command. This is used to install karma. Now, how do you define a spec file in Jasmine? So, a spec file represents a test case inside the test suite. So, each spec file is like a test script, and the test scripts become test suite. We can define spec by calling the global jasmine function it, which is it. And we will describe the test steps in it. An example is given here. We will write it describe. It will take two parameters, a string and a callback function. So describe uh, will tell what to do when a test script is called. And the function, it gets executed. So and then inside the it, it we will write uh, the methods and we will call the asserts using expect statements now can you so this is another thing that they'll ask what are the common matchers you have used in jasmine so you can talk about to be array to be array of booleans and to be false to be calculable odd number empty object etc these are some of the built-in matchers so you can refer to the GitHub list where it lists all the matches for complete details. Now, this is another important thing that is asked. What do you understand by headless browser or headless execution? A headless browser is a kind which will not have any graphical user interface, but it is done using the co command prompts. It is mainly useful because when you run our code or test scripts in build pipelines, it is used by running headless browser. So it's very important to run our tests in the pipeline. For example, from promoting the code from dev to test, test to stage, stage to prod, all of that should run tests. Those tests are executed using the headless browser feature. All right, so that brings us to the first part of Angular testing. This was a beginner series. I hope you like it. Uh, I'm going to bring more series on testing, but do drop in your comments, your feedback, any questions you want me to particularly cover, I'll be happy to do that. If you have any doubts, drop them in the comments. I'll explain it with more examples. Please subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much. Let's get, let's see you in the next episode.